Nazis had met with Klansmen to discuss forming a united racist front. As Nazis prepared to go to Greensboro, they too were concerned about informants in their midst. I would say that the, that the government has for a long time, and I would say since the creation of the FBI back in, uh, uh, I think, 29, 28, I believe that the government has, of course, kept close watch on any group uh, that uh, they perceive as extremist. In other words, anybody that's not a Republican or a Democrat. Tonight, on Frontline, an inside story behind those 88 seconds in Greensboro. continued his daylight career as contractor and house painter. But he remained friendly with police officers and FBI agents. Many of his contracting jobs were for them. So it was only natural in 1979, when the Greensboro police needed a plant inside the Klan, they would turn to Eddie Dawson. We can take our country back from the Communist Party. We take it back from the niggers. It's time for us to band together. If we have to get in the streets and fight blood up to our knees, by God, it's time to get ready to fight. Give them what they want. Fight for this country. We're in the heck of the damn cops. You don't want the cops. After Griffin, Ed Dawson spoke. Witnesses remembered it this way. He brought one of those posters with him, and we passed that around so that people could see it. And he got the crowd real, real emotional. And he said that he knew what we had to face, and, and he said, I'm telling you guys, right now, you, it, it's going to be uh, a fight. Landman, throw him in. He said that he felt it was our patriotic duty that everybody should go. He said time and time again in that meeting, Dawson said, bring guns. Long guns, shotguns, rifles, pistols if you keep them unconcealed. I mean, you know, you can't conceal a gun nowhere in North Carolina on you. And did he say, why bring those guns? No, he just said that might, perhaps we may need them. The question was asked, uh, is it all right to bring guns? And I said, uh, my answer to that was, if you bring a gun, there will be wall-to-wall -wall police there. The gun, if it's hidden, a bulge is seen, you would be arrested, and you better have the bond money in your back pocket. I believe the government was involved in the murders of my husband. And while I am dying inside, I am not going to let my husband die without that truth being exposed. Edward Dawson and Bernard Buktovich were acting as agents in terms of planning out this assassination. For me, the conclusion is inescapable. The police could have prevented the massacre. They could have stopped the caravan, and they could have been at Morningside. Was their failure to do so accidental or deliberate? At least this can be said. No matter how undesirable a majority may view them, Americans should be able to take to the streets without fear that police or their agents will promote or tolerate violence against them.